All right, scholars, thanks for tuning in. I want to do a little introduction to the electromagnetic spectrum. So we'll start off with what we saw with regular waves or mechanical waves. If you want to, if somebody gives you a rope and they say make a, um, a wave with it, you can move your hand up and down and you'll make transverse waves. If you want to make electromagnetic waves, you need to have a vibrating electric charge, like an electron that goes up and down. And that will create a transverse electromagnetic wave. So these waves are transverse and they are formed from vibrating electric charges. There are some unique properties of EM waves. One is that they all travel at the same speed in vacuum. This speed has a special symbol, C. It's called the, it's considered the speed limit of the universe. It's the fastest speed that we know that anything can move, and that is the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Let me make that, um, let's see here, down 10 to the 8 meters per second. Okay, and um, just to get an idea how fast this is, light can go around the Earth seven times in one second. Their speed always decreases when traveling through solids, liquids, or gases because the wave now begins to interact with the matter of that solid, liquid, or gas. So even light coming into our atmosphere slows down a little bit. Light going into water slows down significantly, like maybe by 25 or 30 percent. Let's take a look at the EM spectrum. It goes all the way from very short wavelength or high frequency on the left side here to very long wavelength or low frequency on the right side. So we can say low frequency, long wavelength, high frequency, short wavelength. And this frequency is associated with energy. The higher the frequency, the higher the energy. It'd be like you making the waves with the rope and then someone says make the waves faster, uh, make them with more frequency. You have to move your hand up and down more quickly and that takes more energy. The part of the spectrum that has the highest energy waves we call gamma rays. And they are often given off by radioactive materials. They are very dangerous. We use these actually to sterilize a lot of our food, like strawberries for example. Almost all strawberries that you buy in the supermarket have been irradiated with gamma rays because these rays will kill the mold or the bacteria that will cause the fruit to spoil so the fruit can last longer in your fridge. Then we get to x-rays, which are also dangerous, but as you know, very useful. They're such high energy that they can travel through our flesh, um, but they can't go through our bones. They get stopped by our bones. Gamma rays could actually go through our flesh and our bones. And then we get to UV, not as dangerous as x-rays. And UV, you know, can cause skin cancer. It has enough energy to it that it can go in and basically change your DNA. It could knock out one of the molecules of your DNA and um, that could potentially turn a regular cell into a cancer cell. And then we get a little sliver in between these two lines, which represents the visible section of the spectrum. So violet is all the way over here on the left, the shortest wavelength. Red is on the right, the longest wavelength. And then we have everything else in between, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet very small part of the overall electromagnetic spectrum. When we go a little bit longer wavelength than red, we get into infrared. And we can see the infrared radiation given off by objects if we're using infrared cameras. Anything that's not at absolute zero will give off some infrared radiation or infrared rays. So we often associate this with heat. When something gets hot enough, it may begin to actually glow and it'll start by glowing with a very deep red, like this red here. If it continues getting hotter, it will glow with a little bit of a reddish orange, like that. And if it gets even hotter, it will give off all of these wavelengths. And all these wavelengths combined produce white. So white hot is definitely hotter than just glowing red. Um, and then we get into the last section here, radio waves, which are the longest wavelength and so lowest energy. They're considered to be the safest for that reason, although there is definitely concern about EM radiation and how that even it being low energy could still have some effect on our cells. 
so people worry about cell phones that you're putting up to your um, up to your brain. So cell phones use radio waves. Anything wireless, actually, anything that's Bluetooth around your home, wireless internet, you name it, it's emitting radio waves. So this is a little introduction. All these waves are exactly the same in principle. It's just an electric and magnetic field that vibrates. And it's ultimately caused by electric charges that are vibrating. OK, so that's a little intro. And what, you, what I'd really like you to focus on is knowing the order of these so that you um, could correctly identify their, um, which ones are the most energetic, which ones are the least energetic. And um, I'd like you to take a look at the next video where I do a little introduction to refraction.